if you are doing this please stop period this there's no need for you to do this maybe there's some need but you need to understand if you are going around giving your birth details birth details which means your date of birth your time of birth and your place of birth to whatever accuracy if you are going on giving it all over youtube in astrology videos <clears throat> or anywhere you know online blogs facebook instagram anywhere it doesn't matter or 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 even if you are going on giving it to random people within your circle hey here's my date of birth suppose you have a circle where there are people learning astrology they are students of astrology or astrologers or even in your close circles if you're going on just giving it to anyone and everyone expecting that you will get some magical news someday well then sorry to disappoint you none of that will happen <clears throat> okay so you need to understand why this is very important why 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 this is very important and before i begin there's a disclaimer this video is going to be very heavy so if you cannot take strong things you only like to watch entertainment you only like good things you cannot take bad things difficult things strong things please walk out of the video or else you are going to be frustrated but if you if you have the heart to watch this then please watch now the problem is whenever you give your birth detail somewhere in youtube comments below the videos or in chat i've said a thousand times don't do it why there are many reasons why suppose you give your birth details then somebody goes and opens up your chart and then what happens that person sees oh what the best horoscope of uh, the millennium right <laughs> Everybody feels his or her horoscope is better than mine. Everybody feels that. Of course, in some area. Oh, he has a better marriage than me. He has a better career than me. He has a better health than me. He has a better property than me. He has better cars than me. He has a better spouse than me. <laughs> Always everybody will feel that you, he, she has a better chart than me. Now, when that person feels that, so suppose you have some a good planet in your seventh house. Let's take an example. Your seventh lord is exalted, which has very little to do with your actual married life. But 99%, if not 199% of the people who watch astrology videos online, they think having an exalted seventh house means... You have a great marriage. <clears throat> so then what happens? That person thinks you have a great marriage. And maybe your seventh lord which is exalted is in some dustana. But that person has no idea. But that person just see, oh, seventh lord is exalted. His married life is great. And let's assume that person who is feeling this, his married life is not the best. And nobody's married life is the best, right? So then what happens? This person starts to envy you. Now what is envy? Envy is basically indirect appreciation. This is what my Shiksha Gurus would say. Envy is indirect appreciation. Indirectly you are appreciating somebody. That is why you are envious. That is why you feel you uh, don't... I mean, that's why you feel that this person has something which is better than what I have, right? So therefore, this person is now feeling that envy. Now, when this person is feeling that envy, that poison is coming out. Oh, why does he have a better marriage than me? Why? Or oh, why does she have a better marriage than me? Then, what happens is, because <clears throat> the horoscope, see, the horoscope is not just, it's not like a resume. 
people say, oh, the horoscope is just like a resume. What's the big deal? You can give it anywhere. Like your resume, you put it here, there, right? But no, the horoscope is not. The grahas, which are indicated in your chart, they literally carry energy. They At a literal level, they carry energy. And 99% of the people in this world, they are not spiritually mature to deal with negative energies because they themselves have a lot of negativity. So then what is happening is when this person is seeing your chart and becoming envious of something, of something which you don't have in reality. For example, your seventh lord is exalted, which has very less to do with your married life. And maybe your married life is in doldrums because of some other reasons in the chart, which this person has no idea. And this person thinks you have a great marriage. <clears throat> and then what happens? This person is burning. And then this energy gets transmitted to you. Somehow or the other it will happen, you will see. Bad eyes, negative, evil eyes. Somehow or the other it will happen. And then what happens in your married life? That is... There's turmoil. You, I can challenge you. You just do this. You give your chart somewhere and you just write. You don't have to actually write. You don't have to do anything <laughs> because everybody will have some good planet externally. Good in the sense, <clears throat> either some planet will be in Mahapurush or some planet will be exalted, some will be in Muldrikon or something or the other will be there which may have nothing to do with the actual reality because the reality at the end which is happening in your life is a combination of so many factors and most of the people who are grazing astrology videos not all but 90 percent of the people they watch transit videos and they think oh seventh lord exalted very good marriage venus exalted very good marriage okay they think like this but actually that's far from reality but because they are feeling like this, this energy transmits to you. It wrecks havoc in your married life. Or the person may not be envious of you. They may be envious of your spouse. Yes. <clears throat> imagine you are a man. A lady sees your chart. And imagine she has some problem with your wife. Imagine. Or she has some problem with you. Or she was attracted to you in, in some point of her life. Then she sees you have a very good married life. Then she won't be envious of you. She'll be envious of your wife. And then what happens? Your wife, your spouse, your husband, <coughs> or even your girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever that person is, can have serious health problems. I have seen this happening with people all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time. Therefore, your horoscope is a sacred energy. Please preserve it. Don't just spill it everywhere. Do not do it. It will wreak havoc and destruction in your life. This is the first reason. The second reason is people can de develop some perception about you. For example, you have Guru Chandalyo, for example, Jupiter and Rahu is there in your, Jupiter-Rahu conjunction is there in your chart. <clears throat> now, if Jupiter is with Rahu in the chart or aspected by Rahu, at times there could be situations in your life which might encourage you to break some religious norm or some tradition. But that doesn't mean you will break it. Unless the overall chart supports. If your Lagnesh, 5th Lord, ninth Lord is strong, you will not break it. But people don't know this. People will see, oh, you have Jupiter, Rahu, so you are a scam, you are false, you are a liar, you are, a, you are this, you are that. They'll make a perception about you. They will develop some perception about you which has nothing to do with reality. Absolutely, it's absolute farce. But they will develop, develop this. Why? Because most of the people, they will generalize your character just by doing this. <clears throat> Suppose your moon is with Mars. Let's say you. Or you are Manglik. Moon-Mars combination is there. Or you are Manglik. 
or your mangal is in the lagna lagna lord or whatever with the lagna lord i mean <clears throat> then what happens somebody sees you in normal life and in normal life everybody gets angry frankly i get angry you get angry everybody does right some point in their life or maybe everybody everybody gets angry every day in some point of the day <laughs> But that does not mean that you will go and beat your spouse or you will beat your child or you will beat your parents or you will beat your colleagues, co-workers or you beat your neighbors. So then what happens? Suppose tomorrow, for, for some reason, somebody puts a fake case against you. Suppose you are a man and then a lady comes and says, oh, this person had uh, harassed me sexually. And... And let's assume that's a false allegation. So then what happens is <clears throat> those people who have seen your chart, they'll say, oh, yes, we know he has Mangal in Lagna. He has Mangal with the moon. He has, you know, mm, uh, Venus, Mars combination. His uh, Mangal is aspecting Venus or something like that, which again is not a guarantee that you, uh, you, you uh, sexually abuse a lady. But because they have seen some preliminary placement, they will form judgments about you. And not only will they form such people who are so jobless that they will look at your chart and they will keep forming perceptions. They are the worst of the gossip mongers. These people are like blood suckers and they're worse than dogs and cats. They're worse than leeches actually. They're like snakes. They will go around spilling the word to your community. <laughs> they will send mails to your colleagues, to your family members, to this, to that, to your in-laws, you know, to your friends. Okay. They'll spread the poison everywhere. Oh, look, this person has this in the chart. And then this person is like this, like that. <laughs> and now... If a person has Mars in first house or moon Mars or the person is Mangli and you know the person from last 20 years, okay? And then if this, this person who is spilling this poison against you is emailing your friend who knows you from last 20 years, because of this placement, this person always gets angry. Now, from last 20 years, your friend knows you. And maybe he's a good friend, but not like your very close best friend. But he's your reasonably good friend. So there might have been 10 incidences, at least I'm saying. There could be 100, but at least 10 incidences in a normal person's life in the last 20 years where you might have got angry for some reason. And maybe that anger was for the right reasons or wrong reasons. That, that's a separate thing, but... Normally, you, you might have got angry. Oh, what is this? You know, this is nonsense. You should not do like this. Some, some, some This kind of anger. Not that, you know, you are going and beating somebody. But you get angry sometimes. But now what this your friend will think? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember when he was in fifth standard, he got angry on me. Oh, he got angry on him or her, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, he's like this. You are right. <clears throat> I always thought he's a bit angry. Yeah. Oh, I need to keep distance. Now, this friend from last 20 years, he may not cut you out. He may not kick you out of his life. But he will also develop a perception about you. Again, which has nothing to do with your reality. It's not that you are going on beating people. You might get angry once, sometime. Once in a year, you may shout on somebody. But this friend of yours will think, oh, you do this all the time. Transfer of perceptions, right? <clears throat> there are very few people in your life, most likely, who, if somebody tells, oh, look, 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 this person has this planet in the <clears throat> Lagna, Mangal in Lagna, this person is abusive, aggressive, this, that. They will be able to tell, no, you are speaking lies. This is not correct. Because maybe in your circles also, to whom this person is spreading false news, maybe they are also not liking you. They are also envious of you. 
So what hap what is happening? They are, they are actually believing. Oh yeah, then they will carry the word forward. Look, 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 I received this mail. Or I received this message from this astrologer, you know. This astrologer was telling he has some Mars in the first house. Because of that, this is happening. He is, you know, abusing me or yeah, yeah. 15 years back when I was in school, he said something, okay? And then at the end, when you get all this information, you're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> so this is the second reason. The number three, which is most important, and this is most important, most important, which is if the person is seeing your chart, then there are ways legitimate ways by which they can do black magic only. <clears throat> Not like literal black magic. It could be literal. They can do it or else they can do some spell or something, you know, some dark tantric thing they can do against you. And then that will create havoc in your life. Now, of course, if that person is doing all this, that person will also suffer. You will always see people who are spreading false news against you, spreading fake news against you, they will perish gradually in their life. In fact, when I was in Guwahati, <clears throat> um, November 2022, I went to a person's place. That person follows my channel. And his wife was telling me, uh, she's a Bengali lady, she was telling me about one of her relatives was it, it was her chachi, mommy or uh, buddy ma or somebody, you know, some aunt, okay, <clears throat> who used to do black magic. And later on, she had a very painful death. Very, 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 she had Akal Mittu, which is untimely death. She died in her 50s or 60s, like that. <clears throat> and this lady used to... Uh, used to you know cook certain things and intentionally give because when you cook certain things you can add you know things related to black magic and she would give it to this lady's house who was telling me all this and sometimes they would eat and they would fall sick you know kind of these things would happen but see he's there <laughs> krishna says i am there in everybody's heart so whoever is doing wrong against you, they will die a dog's death. I cannot say this in Hindi. <laughs> Should I say it? <laughs> dog's death. <laughs> Translate this in Hindi. <laughs> For the Westerners, you can ask this to some Indian. You know, they, they will tell you what does this mean. You, know, you will die a dog's death. It's very painful to hear. <laughs> Okay, so, but they will live or they will die. That Krishna will decide that their karma, that God will decide. But the problem is, even if they die or they live or they are miserable, they will still create some distress in your life through all this, you know, uh, tantric, black magic and all this nonsense. <clears throat> so, at the end, who is doing wrong with you? They will perish. That is guaranteed. There is no doubt on it. But the problem is you will have to pay the price. Okay, so why to pay unnecessary prices? <laughs> of course, if they want, they can do black magic by various other means. You know, they can take your photo, they can take your name, whatnot they can do. But if you literally give your birth details and your chart, oh my God, it's very dangerous. Okay. <laughs> so, and the last reason is not very important. Uh, but it's still good to know why you should not give your birth details because you won't get any help. Now imagine you go to some astrology channel. You are having some problems. You have some problems. Everybody who has problems will go to astrologers and that's perfectly fine. That's normal. Only sick people go to doctors. So similarly, people who have problems will go to some astrologer to find some solution to know what, when, <clears throat> when this problem will go away and all this, right? <clears throat> but imagine this this channel where you are commenting has like ten thousand YouTube subscribers. 
So if an astrologer has 10,000 YouTube subscribers and is publishing videos frequently or you know, relatively well, like three, four videos a week or even daily, then at least the person will get 50 comments. At least he or she as an astrologer will receive 50 comments in videos daily. <clears throat> and if the person has 100,000 subscribers, can you imagine how many comments the person will receive? Because 100,000 subscriber means this person might have, you know, 500 or 1,000 or 2,000, 3,000 videos in his channel. So imagine how many comments this astrologer will receive. So do you think it is, uh, it is logically possible? It is uh, not possible. What is that? Logistically feasible. <laughs> do you think by logistics it is feasible that or it is even possible in an imaginary world that somebody <clears throat> who gets not 500, maybe 1000 comments, <clears throat> that he or she will watch your chart and your, because there are so many people commenting. So how many charts will you see? Right? So you anyways are not getting any help. Nobody is going to do that for you. Nobody. Because even if they want to do, they can't do because there's no time. You 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 open a channel on uh, YouTube, on astrology, you will see from day one, you will receive 10 comments. Oh, this is my date, time and place. Tell me when I'll get a job. I'm in problem. I'm this, that. So how many will you reply? And imagine if you have 10,000 subscribers. Impossible. You have to go to the forest. You have to leave everything. Even then, you will not be able to answer all the comments, especially, especially if somebody gives their birth details. <clears throat> so, at the end, you are getting nothing. You are not getting anything. And number five is, even if somebody is looking at your chart, you know, like when I go live, people give their birth details <clears throat> and they expect me to give some answer. Even if you do that, even if I give some answer, it is still problematic for you. It is a half-hearted answer. Why? Because I don't know the overall chart. Astrological predictions are given on the basis of the overall chart. So, at best, you get no reply. But even if you get replies, either it is a wrong reply or it is a half-hearted reply which doesn't help you. Like, if you come to live chat and ask me... <clears throat> My Saturn Venus is in the 10th house. What will happen? There are a thousand things which could happen. I don't know where your 10th Lord is. I don't know where your Lagnesh is, where your sun is, where is this, where is that. I have no idea. So I, so I can't answer. And that's a fact. It's a brutal fact. I cannot answer because I don't know. And even if I know, I make your chart, I need some time to analyze. I can't do it in live session or you are writing in the comments, it is not possible. Okay. So, at the war, best cases, you don't get replied. Worst cases, me medium cases, you get some half-hearted reply which doesn't help you. You get some answers like, oh yeah, this is good, this is bad, this is good for this, bad for that. So what? Nothing changes in your life. And worst case, black magic is done on you. So, which one would you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> so, the best thing to do is not to give all this. Okay. You can give general details. Okay. What happens if this planet is here, there? How can I understand? What are some implications which can happen? And also, along with not revealing your birth details completely, you should also not reveal too many things in the chart. Okay. Like people say, oh, I have this planet here, this 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 here. What will happen? Even that is not nice. Okay, so please treat your horoscope, your birth details, your chart, your kundli as yourself, as your energy. <clears throat> if you have the printout of your chart, don't keep it in a dirty place. Don't keep it in an unclean place. Don't keep it in a place where there is a lot of clutter. Don't do it. You will suffer miserably, I'm telling you. You will suffer very badly. So therefore, please understand that you can do very good if you follow, learn astrology systematically. And when you are learning, you should have a mentor, preferably offline. 
could be online also offline if then it's better okay all right ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your patience if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to down below and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you just found him <laughs> Thank you so much. Please don't share your birth details openly in public. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Krishna.